All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. My name is Leon. This is XP to Level Up, where I give you the experience that you need to get to the next level in your life, whether that be in, in your fitness goals, in your life pursuits, or just randomly about something that you didn't think that, that you wanted to hear or know about, but then you ended up leaving and being happy that you did learn about it. So guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about a topic that is kind of off topic compared to what I usually talk about, but that's going to be how to purchase clothes correctly. Okay. Now this is something that I also just recently kind of learned about through my own research and my own, um, uh, inquisitions. But I mean, guys, when I was young, I was the typical young guy, right? I was trying to always get my hands on that 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 brand, that 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 um, fashion fad, um, whatever the case, right? Like the the new Jordans, the you know, back in the day, it was that like American Eagle or that Hollister or whatever the case. Just, I was always trying to get my hands on what was in at the time, right? I was always trying to spend my money on something that would look good in that season, in that moment, right? Um, but, but now, guys, as I've gotten older, um, I've realized that if you try to shop for your clothes in a matter of um, being like, okay, I'm trying to follow this year's fashion fad, you're gonna be wasting a lot of money on clothes, guys, especially if you're the type that likes designer clothes that has to have brand names on their shirts and pants to feel you know, good about themselves, then you're, then you're gonna be spending a whole lot of money on clothes that you're only gonna be able to wear for that year and then they're not gonna look good after that. So the way that I shop for clothes now, guys, is what I call in, in um, investment clothes shopping, right? So what I do is I look for, for um, fashion trends that are timeless, right? So, so for example, this black t-shirt, right? A black t-shirt is very simple and it'll always look good, especially if you have the body to match it, right? If you have an aesthetic body that makes the black t-shirt look good and fitted, it's gonna always look good, it's, it's timeless, right? It's something that will always look good no matter what time of year it is, no matter what you know, fashion trends are popping right now. A black t-shirt is simple and will always look good if you pair it with the right jeans and the right shoes or whatever, right? It's always gonna look good. Now, so there's things like black t-shirts, then there's things like, you know, like a nice polo shirt, like a nice, and, and I'm not talking about Ralph Lauren, I'm talking about just like an actual polo shirt, just like a short sleeve, you know, the three, four buttons or whatever polo shirt black, white, red, whatever the case, just very simple, basic colors, things that always look good. So for example, um, uh, so recently I did like a kind of entire like wardrobe makeover, I guess per se, where I kind of looked into what fashion trends are the most timeless, what are the most simple um, and, you know, inexpensive fashion trends that I can buy and wear that will always look good. So I don't have to be cycling through clothes every three months. Right. So what I found out is that, um, there's a, a, a very simple way of dressing for men that is super easy to achieve. And, and there are some things, excuse me, that you, that, um, you're going to be spending more money on like, okay, here, hold on real quick. I'm just going to show you guys some of the things that I've bought for myself that will be timeless and will always look good. Right. So let's see. So guys, for example, right. A simple here. Let me turn this light on. So a simple button up dress shirt guys. This will always look good. You put something like this with some jeans, right? And some nice casual shoes or some boots and it's always going to look good. Again, especially if you have an aesthetic body guys, one essential part of here. Hold on. Let me get this camera up a little bit. There we go. 
one essential part, guys, about making clothes like this look good is looking good yourself, your body looking good, right? You cannot be a super overweight person and look good in a dress shirt. The buttons are gonna be stretched out, right? You, it's, it's just not gonna look put together and, and you know, handsome and professional, right? So there's things like the button up dress shirt, very simple and effective. And then again, the black t-shirts, white t-shirts. And then we have things like, let's see. Like again, guys, like I said, something like a simple polo shirt. I got this for like 20 bucks at Target and I can pair this with like practically anything and it's gonna look good, okay? Um, so there's polo shirts. Then you're obviously gonna have things like long sleeve shirts. Again, very simple, black or white, um, or your favorite color, whatever kind. Um, I also like to wear these kinds of, of t-shirts as well, guys. These are going to be um, your, uh, what do you call it, elongated back t-shirts. I like these a lot because I think they look very, again, aesthetic on a body that fits it correctly. Um, so let's see. So now we've kind of talked about uh, shirts and stuff like that. So now I'm gonna go on to something like jackets. Now for, for me guys, I feel like a quality, real leather jacket is always going to look badass. It's always going to look cool. Um, you're always going to feel great in it. And it's a very uh, versatile, durable piece of clothing. This leather jacket is going to last me for like probably at least five to ten years. Okay. This is something that I might even be able to pass down to my children. Leather jackets only get better with age and they're an essential buy for an, an investment piece of clothing. Something that you can put money into now and it'll pay off for years to come, okay? Not just some crappy jacket that just looks cool that season. You buy it, oh, okay, I wear it for like a year and it starts to fade out and starts to get crappy and, and I can't wear it anymore. Something like leather gets better with age, guys. So then we have the leather jacket and then we have something simple, guys, like a denim jacket, right? Again, very simple, timeless, always looks good, pair it with the right jeans, and you'll never fail, right? Then we have things like simple hoodies, guys. Simple, aesthetically fitting hoodies. I'm not talking about super baggy ass hoodies. I'm talking about a hoodie that you can wear, that you, that you can still look good in, that your body still looks good in. Simple hoodies, right? So now, for all of my Minnesotans out there, give me one second. For all of my Minnesotans out there, it is key that you invest good money into a jacket, one jacket that will be able to combat any kind of cold weather, guys. And this jacket from Columbia is a jacket that I've, uh, that I've always wanted. And I actually got mine for, uh, during um, the, the quarantine sales at the Mall of America, guys. I got this jacket for like 70% off, okay? So if you look for the right deals, for the right brands, guys, you'll find clothes that will last you for very, very long and will serve one purpose. Because I know as a Minnesotan, I have like 10 jackets, right? Or I, I, I had t 10 jackets because they were all doing the task of what this one jacket does, guys. So if you find a jacket like this that serves every purpose, it'll save you so much money on, on, on a whole bunch of other BS jackets that you don't need. All right, let me put this back. So we talked about shirts, jackets. Um, so now I'm gonna kind of go over the kinds of shoes that I wear because hopefully if you guys see these kind of shoes that I wear, it'll kind of inspire you to get more simple shoes that go with everything, right? So first to start out with guys, we have some very simple 
casual shoes, right? The black and white, again, goes with everything. I, I could wear this with jeans, I, and I could wear this with shorts. These kinds of shoes, casual shoes, very sim simplistic, aren't too extra. You can wear these with anything, and they're going to look good. Now, boots, okay? Boots, I feel like, especially boots like these, I, I, I got these boots from, from Thursday Boots. I hope one day I can get like a sponsorship from them because they're just incredible. These boots are phenomenal. Um, literally since the day that I've bought them, I'm obsessed with wearing them. And I literally had to buy other boots that were cheaper just so I didn't just run these into the ground because they're suede. So obviously, if you guys know about suede, if you just wear suede like an everyday casual shoe, they're going to get beat up a lot faster than, let's say, a leather boot, right? Because they're suede, especially quality suede. So boots, guys, I feel like are a staple in men's fashion, right? You can wear boots with some jeans and even a black t-shirt like this and just look phenomenal. I feel like boots can really bring out the masculinity um, in a guy, the style, the professionalism, um, and just overall just smooth look. I love boots the way that they feel. Um, they're super comfortable as well. But yeah, guys, so boots are essential. I, I, I like uh, Chelsea boots, but you can get um, captain boots, you can get chuckas, you can get all different kinds of boots that are for, for different things. Um, and then guys, I have my athletic shoes. I've had these forever. These are the uh, Adidas Ultra Boosts. Um, these are pretty expensive for tennis shoes, but they're worth it. I've had these for like, I think about three years now. They're all raggedy now, but they're still completely functional, put together. The soles are still intact, right? Like everything's still there. So it's still a very, very comfortable shoe. These are still the most comfortable shoes that I own. Um, so let's see. So yeah, guys, I also have more boots. Like I said, I didn't want to run my suede um, into the ground, so I got me some cheaper um, leather slash pleather boots. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, I feel like you guys mostly get the picture by now, right? I have. Jeans, right? Jeans are so important to find the right kind of jeans, guys. If you feel like you need to invest in, you know, an extra hundred bucks over budget or whatever the case for the right type of quality denim, guys, then do it. Because I'm telling you, the better denim that you get, the longer it's going to last you. So again, we're talking about investment clothing here. We're, we're talking about things that you buy once and will last you for years, okay? My favorite place to go to for jeans that are affordable but yet durable is Levi's guys I feel like all of you guys know what Levi's are uh, I'm wearing some Levi's right now okay these are these are actually American Eagle jeans I think that American Eagle makes fantastic denim I, I, I think that their style and their brand in general is kind of out of date and, and, and kind of old news but their but their jeans guys are phenomenal so American Eagle, Levi's, or you can get like quality jeans from like Macy's or whatever. But guys, overall, uh, the point that I'm trying to make is, is that the, the types of clothes that you want to buy, let's turn this off, let me sit back down, all right. So guys, the types of clothes that you want to buy um, should be clothes that you, you might spend more money now than what you're comfortable with, but these clothes are gonna last you for a long ass time, right? I'm talking here, hold on, let me fix this camera. Like, guys, I won't have to shop for clothes again for like years, right? Years, you know, especially if I keep my same body weight and, and I keep focusing on you know, making my body more and more, you know, aesthetic and um, more put together and, you know, fitted, then stuff like a black t-shirt will just keep looking better and better. I mean, you know, if you get your your arms looking some type of way to where they're nice and full, you know, you, you can get that, that rounded shape in a t-shirt and it just brings out a t-shirt so much more compared to if your arms are all skinny and you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't look as good, in my opinion. So, 
Guys, I again, I, I won't have to buy clothes again for years. These boots are going to last me for a long ass time. That leather jacket is, is going to last me probably longer than, than I'm alive. Um, and just in general, guys, I spent more money now on brands that I've researched and that I know will provide the quality and longevity that I need to where, excuse me, I won't have to just go out every year and buy new clothes, right? Because I don't like that feeling, guys. I don't like to spend a bunch of, you know, needless money on clothes. I like to, um, you know, be able to rock a, you know, a certain number of outfits that look good in any scenario and just leave it at that. I don't like to just go shopping all the time and waste my money on clothes that I'm probably hardly ever going to wear, right? Like, or just like that, that ideology of like, oh, I'm going to go buy this outfit for this one night. Like, come on. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys, hopefully that gave you some insight on what uh, investment clothing means. Um, I know I just kind of turned this into a, let's look at Leon's closet, but, um, I hope that you guys, um, learn something from it. I hope that, um, us men that are watching this, um, get kind of a better idea on how to spend their money, um, with clothes so they don't end up going broke on dumb shit that it's not going to look good. So. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys got um, anything from this, make sure to, to like um, the video. Comment down below what you think some great articles of investment clothing are. Um, things that maybe y'all want to put me on with. Um, but otherwise, um, make sure to subscribe for, for more content. Turn on that notification bell to never miss an upload. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.